Well, I'm the National Archivist from 1992, and the mandate of the National Archives is the preservation of records of national and historical importance. Well, we have different formats. So we have microfilm and microfish who did back, um, that did back into the, the 18th century. But our physical records, they go as far back as about 1808. Use of the word salvage is a very good word because um, records were, were, were saved. Records were, were looked for, particularly by the individuals who were in the hist archaeological and historical society. And they made a concerted effort to look for and to gather, to collect and to protect records. So we have what I would call pockets of records. Um, although I, I, I said that we have records going back to 1808, but we do not have complete runs. Because of the fires, we have so many gaps in our records. We have, um, and, it is, and it is very sad that we suffered the loss of the majority of our government records. For example, the records that pertain to slavery. And I, I am a student of the slavery period because I think it is very important that we understand slavery and what it did to us. If you were to decide that you want to study slavery, we don't have those records here. You'd have to go to the National Archive at Kew in England or to the archives in France or Martinique because I was in Martinique in February and you can get records pertaining to the early part of our history. When we look at the National Archives, the role of the archives, it is an agency because we were set up as an agency, we're a statutory authority. It is an agency that is there to help to not only preserve the historical records, but to make them accessible for study and use. And this is something that many people do not seem to understand. Because in our part of the world, in our part of the world, archives are more or less like a new phenomenon. When you look at archives in Italy, in France, in the developed world, this go, the archives go back to years. And the institution, the National Archives, has been in existence in those countries for hundreds of years. But when you look at us in St. Lucia, like our National Archives Act was passed in 1993, which is about 16 years ago. So we are a new institution. So we're now trying to help people understand our role. Okay, now the role of the National Archives to ensure that records which are created by government, by businesses, by churches, by private organizations are protected. They are, first of all, created in such a way that they are there um, so that in the future people could look at these records to have an idea as to how individuals, organizations, even the government or I shouldn't say even most importantly, how the government or governments were able to run this small island of ours. So we see that archives are important for accountability. They are, uh, archives are important for transparency because with our human minds, we tend to forget and not only forget, we reconstruct things in our own way. So we, what we do is that we um, reconstruct the history. So something may have happened a year ago and hear it being told by different individuals, you would think that every, 
individual who gives the story gives something completely different because they're giving it within their own context. They're giving it within their own educational background, within the fact that they may not have been there and it is hearsay. They're giving what their parents of a friend told them. So you find that we need the physical records, whether they are electronic records or paper records, so that we could really have what actually happened. To my mind, there are many stories. Most times, there isn't one story. Because when we look at an event, the event takes place within a particular time, but then we look at the occurrence from different points of view. We look at it through the eyes of different individuals. And that is why you brought up the, the, the fact that this is an oral society by large, and it is. And in oral societies, it is important that we have what we call oral history. And it is important that we capture the, 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 the words of individuals. One individual who has attempted to do that for St. Lucia is Dr. Claire Robertson. And I must say we're very thankful to her that we have over 100 DVDs of oral history where in the, in the early 1990s, she came to St. Lucia and she had people go around and speak to individuals. And in fact, many of the individuals who took part in that project have actually passed on. You know, so at the archives, we have all these tapes and we have the, we have the, the transcribed words. So this is important, but it should be an ongoing thing. Well, the thing is, um, when we look at um, our ancestors, it is important that we try to understand who they, who they were, because we in St. Lucia, remember, we were a colony. So we were colonized people. And if we're looking at the history, we should look at the history from as far back as we could go. And that is why the oral history project is so important. The history that we have, or the history that is taught in schools, which should be taught in schools, which must be taught in schools, because I'm not sure um, I am told that history is no longer taught in schools and it is a problem. So I, I, I'll just divert for a little while. When we look at history, don't you believe that history is important? History is absolutely important. But what we have done as um, people who do not think it's important, we have compartmentalized history as if it is a subject. But to my way of thinking, history is not a subject. History is part of everyday life. History is so fundamental to everything that we do, you know, and it is something that we don't seem to understand. Whatever we do, whether it comes to our day-to-day -day living, we must go back to the history, you know, to sh a simple thing as going to shop. The history is important. You must know if you have eggs in the refrigerator or not. You must know basic things in order to make sure that you go to the store and buy the right items. And going back to identity, if we do not know who we are as a people, we cannot appreciate ourselves. Like my, that's why the genealogy is important. I know I am from the Carib stock, you know, and I'm so proud of that, you know. I'm one of the indigenous peoples of St. Lucia, you know, and the, the colonizers told us that the Caribs were savage, that they were aggressive, that they were man-eaters or cannibals. <laughs> but then when you begin to study the lives of these individuals, we realize that they were not aggressive, but that they were standing up for themselves. Imagine people coming to take your property, your land, trying to displace you. What would you do? What would be your reaction? You reacted as any human being 
should react. But then the, 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 the word was changed and it was presented to us as if they were subhuman, you know, and they reacted in ways that they should not. But when we look at the human psychology, we realize they acted as any right-thinking person should react, you know? So we have to change that. We have to change how our children see us. Well, we're accessible to everybody because that's what we're there for. Our mandate is to preserve and to make accessible. It's so easy to understand. So we must be accessible. When you're accessible, it means you're open. It means anybody could come and we, we're accessible. They come, they, they call us, we help them. The teachers come in, you know, they look for the information. And that is why we're trying to build up our research library so we could be of better use to them. But then remember that archives deal mainly with primary source material, which the younger ones would not be able to use, you know. But then apart from that, we also try to get secondary source material so that when St. Lucian's right, you know, we, we, we try to encourage people to pass things on to us for preservation. So as a, drama as a dramatist, you could pass, you know, your stuff on to us, you know, for preservation. There are some well-known um, writers, they pass their manuscripts to us, you know, and so on. And we do that, we preserve, so that in the next 50 years, our, 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 our people will be able to see what we have. Us, we have photographs of VG prior to the construction of the airport. And what he said is absolutely correct. And there was a colonial hospital occupying that area. And, the, and there was a hill, a hillock, you can call it a hillock or a hill. And it had to be, um, it, it had to be, um, to be raised in order to, um, to accommodate the airport. Yes. And there was also a golf course. Yes, right by the beach. Yes, because you see, the, the importance of photographs and old postcards and stuff, and you could see, because going back into the recent history, there were so many things that occurred in St. Lucia that, you know, people don't know about. And when it comes to the, to the, to the, the terrain, the topography of the land, you know, there were so many things that were in place. And there was a race course by Vidbutei, you know? Yes, yes, yes. And horse racing was a very big thing in St. Lucia. You know, when you go back into the old newspapers, you could see all the advertisements and, oh, it's so interesting. <laughs> Hear people say, oh, this is the first time we're doing this. But then when you go into the history, it's not the first time. You know, but it is because they do not know, because they do not know, so they assume, you know. And that is why it is so important that we should go back into the history. We had a, a program where we would have a history quiz for the secondary schools, and we actually prepared what we call archives information packs that we sent to the schools, and we had zones and so on. It was very time consuming, but I think it was very beneficial and the students began to appreciate and know the history. But we, we stopped it because it was very time consuming and the funding to do it, you know, so we, you know, but we could resume it again if we could get a sponsor, you know, because the children would, were learning. They were learning about the history and learning about themselves. You know, there is so much that we could offer, but we need the support, you know, of, you know, corporates and Lucia. Archives is the memory of our country. Without a memory, you're senile.